Hey, Dick. What's up? You got to come all this way just to take my picture? Yeah. Well, I wanted to catch you in your natural environment. With or without a hat? Well, you know, that's questionable. It depends on how you were born. Dick Mendikowski. Bald. Ha, <laughs> ha. Well, there, that's a good clue. What do you What do you got in your hand there? Show us a little bit. You're an LCO tribal member. You're a crafts person. Uh, yeah, what do you? What? Is, we're making a special uh, talking stick, prayer stick for her mother. So she's gonna beat it, and then I'll be done with her. This is for her mother. For her mother okay, yeah. so you've you've done something a little bit personalized it's here. It's gonna be personalized. Yeah, it's got elk leather, which is a strong protector for us. Elk leather. Yeah, and it's gonna have. I don't know. It's gonna have otter. But that's we're gonna we're gonna respect your privacy and stay on him, okay? For do it unless you want to be interviewed. But uh, we're just taking a look at some of uh, some of this stuff here. Uh, what else you got uh, showing here? What else are you showing here that are some of your specialties here? There's a turtle rattle. Okay. Which we do very well with. Is that any particular kind of turtle there? It's a red ear slider. A, a what? A red ear slider. A red eared slider. slider. Correct. And and how do you tell that from the bottom or the up or when it's still alive or? Uh, well, the red ear sliders are the farm raised that I'll buy them from a store out in California. Oh, I see. It's not something from the wild. Because right. That's the turtle is very meaningful for us. When it crosses our path, it means long life. It's a it's a clan symbol of uh, among certain tribes of clans and family relationships. But sometimes you can take a look at look at certain turtle shells and be able to tell what they are by coloring on the bottom or the top. Yes, you can, and also it's our uh, calendar wall calendar. Let's take a let's take a little bit of a close up of that. Because there's always 13 large hearts on a turtle shell, and that represented our 13 moons. Oh, that's so interesting. It's on all turtle shells. What do you got so here? That's gray fox that I have on there. You always use gray fox or other uh, all, kinds of furs? All different uh, furs for different meanings. I have the meanings here. Okay. For the Jibwa meanings of the furs too. So the people are hand picking out what the meaning of the fur that represents them. Okay. Also. And you got some kind of a leather on here. I'm looking at that. Yep, yep. It's got deer leather. Okay. And wooden, nice wooden beads. And then I finish it with with feathers after that. That's a nice stick. Where are you going? Uh, where have you been so far with your stand this year? Anywhere? No, I haven't been. Uh, uh, I guess in Wabasha, Minnesota, the National Eagle Center sells my stuff and I was there for three weekends there. So Setting up and showing people how showing you're carving? Them. Yeah, and selling. How did you get started? Oh, well, years ago my son decided to cross a, a rapids and use a walking stick. And so for Christmas that year I said I'll make him and his friend a walking stick. I started telling people at work that and they all of a sudden I started selling them and selling them and now I'm on my own doing it as you know. You got walking sticks. You got you got dancing sticks. I'm gonna go take a look over there. Okay, let's see if we can uh, keep you in there, and we'll just go right over here. We're by the way, the voice behind here is Paul Demain. We're at the University of Wisconsin Eau Claire during their powwows, and we're talking with uh, Dick Mendikowski, who does a lot of this uh, type of uh, artwork. Uh, functional artwork in a lot of cases Correct. stuff let's take a look at this where are we gonna start at the bottom or the top it doesn't matter. okay let's go to the top what do we got up there is that uh, Rudolph yeah Rudolph is there okay and is just a regular uh, white tail deer uh, yes, horn it's a white tail okay then I have a gray fox tail on there gray fox tail on the top you got a little beadwork uh, dangling off yep. of there let's uh, do that okay and then it's wrapped with uh, elk leather elk leather uh clam lake elk no oh not yet right they're not hunting those yet okay and then what do we got there and it's the face of a gray fox also okay you can see the the nose here and you got eyes right there if you can't see that in the cam shot let's see actually if we look like that you might be able to see the face on it 
Okay, yeah, yeah, that comes out a lot better when you turn it the proper way. And then we got something interesting here. That's uh, from a hard maple, the canker sore is what I call it. Okay. And, and canker uh, sores could be what, in, insect bites uh, or something? Or? It just doesn't allow that uh, a burrowing effect that happens with it. Grew up all the way around it. It kept yeah. thriving despite whatever was going on there. Yeah, tried to survive. Okay, and down near the bottom? Yeah, uh, it's an actual, uh, it's, a, it's a ranch mink that I caught out in the wild. A ranch mink? Ranch mink, yeah. It's it called mahogany. It's a very expensive ranch mink. Is that, in other words, something that escaped at some yeah. point and is breeding out in the wild yeah. now, but it's a domesticated... Uh, right. And you can tell by the kind of fur that it produces? Yeah, how short of fur it is, too. A wild mink is longer, a lot longer okay. fur than that also. This baby yeah, gets cold during mink. the winter because it wasn't... Yeah, no, this is their, this is their type of fur. Okay, yeah. just a different kind of brand. Okay, let's put that up. Stand that up next, next to you so we can see how tall it is there, okay? Okay, now, if, you need, if you're need, if you out walking around, is that of help or are you just going to dance with that? What do you say? Okay. A trophy piece for your, definitely a trophy piece. For Basically a trophy piece for hanging on the wall or looking good. Right. Drawing Being attention maybe, it. if you're out there uh, trying to get a little attention, you go out there and people go, whoa. Yeah, they notice this right away. All right, Dick, how can people get a hold of you if they're interested in having their own special walking stick, dancing stick, or wall hanging of any of this stuff put together? Where do, they, where do they go? To trading post on the reservation. Yeah, let's go to Ray. Yeah, we'll uh, some of the supplies there. Right, and then I do have my own... Um, you can contact me personally as well. What's your website? You got I, a website? No website yet. Just you want to give your email or is that I, secret? Or? I don't have an email. You got a phone number you phone want to number, give out? Phone number 715-579-3049. All right. 24-7? 24-7. Leave a message. All right. Thanks, Dick, for talking with us today. Well, thank you, Paul.